Você já reparou na nossa necessidade de comunicação? É impressionante. E para isso existem várias ferramentas. Tem o ICQ, tem o MSN, tem o blog, tem o Fotolog, tem o Orkut, tem o YouTube, onde você grava um vídeo, sobe para cá e distribui para o mundo as suas ideias. Impressionante. Tá. Agora, imagine isso aqui. Imagina o YouTube com transmissão ao vivo. Isso mesmo, transmissão ao vivo, uma TV por internet. Ah, até aí nenhuma novidade. TV por internet existem várias. Pois é, mas eu estou falando a sua TV. E a sua TV feita de uma forma simples, através de um site. Você vai, se cadastra, põe um login, põe uma senha, pronto. Você já está transmitindo ao vivo, de onde você quiser. Da sua sala, do seu quarto, da sua garagem. É, já existe. E não é mentira, não. Foi criado no dia 1 de abril desse ano. Tem pouca gente lá ainda, umas 300 e poucas pessoas. Brasileiros, muito poucos. Eu estou por lá também. Minha TV chama Ivan.tv. É, podia ser outro nome também. Ah, você quer saber qual é o site? Ustream.tv. Esse é o segredo. Dá uma chegadinha até lá. Na sequência, tem um tutorial do Mike Chandler que mostra como é que você faz seu cadastro no Ustream.tv. Tenho certeza que você tem muita coisa para transmitir ao vivo para o planeta inteiro. Espero lá! So the gist of it is, go to the site, log in, create an account, uh, download some software, and then stream your video and audio just like Justin. Let's go ahead and do it now and see how easy it is. When you first click the sign up link at the top of the screen, you're presented with a very simple form. You simply need to select a screen name and your password. We'll go ahead and do that. I'll call myself Netscoop TV and I'll select a clever password that I won't tell you and we'll move on to the next step. Now, this is going to it's going to get a little bit more detailed. And I'll spare you all the details. I've gone ahead and filled out the form already. I'm going to go ahead and sign myself up, and we'll see where it's going to take us now. Um, quite simply, once you complete the sign-up form, you're in, you've got an account. It doesn't ask you to verify your email address. You can go in and start uh, inviting your friends, or uh, you can just go ahead and create your profile on Ustream and, and get that going straight away. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm, I'm going to opt out of creating my profile. Instead, I've clicked the broadcast link up here, and what it tells me straight away is I don't have any broadcast at this time. I can create a new one if I click on this link. This is the new broadcast link. I'm going to go ahead and click that and see where that takes me. Now, this takes me to a form where I can go ahead and create this, uh, this broadcast, and it goes into their broadcast library. Let's go ahead and fill out this form now. Now, quite simply, you title your, your show or your broadcast. You give it tags just like you would on any, any other of these, these sites uh, to assist in searching. Give it a brief description. Uh, you can upload a, a picture. Uh, now, here you, uh, you have an option of choosing whether or not you want your, uh, your channel to have a, a chat box. Uh, then you define your, your show times, your first broadcast, the, the times that it's going to, to actually air, and then uh, what the intervals are, daily, weekly, monthly, etc. Uh, period number, I'm not too sure, so I'm going to fall back on a default of one. And now I'll create this broadcast. Now that's it for the basics. I've completed the uh, creation of my broadcast. I have uh, the ability to embed this channel with a link or with the, uh, the typical embed tag that you've seen on all the other uh, video powered sites out there uh, like YouTube and uh, Rever, for example. Now let's go ahead and jump to the good stuff and let's talk about how to create your live broadcast. You do that when you've, well, after you've created your broadcast profile, you'll want to click the play live link and we'll do that now. Now if you're into the video scene at all, then you've certainly seen this before. Adobe Flash is going to ask uh, for permission to access your camera and your microphone. We're going to go ahead and allow that. Now what you see immediately is you see that my webcam has sprung to life and I'm now able to broadcast. So let's go ahead and look at this. I'm going to click this record button 
And if you look here, and I'm pointing at my settings here, it says that my broadcast is currently on. I can turn it off if I click this. My audio is also on. I can disable that as well with a simple click. I'll turn it back. I'll turn both of them back on. Now, supposedly, what's happening is I'm broadcasting to, to Ustream TV. People can go in here and actually view this. I've currently got zero viewers. Uh, wouldn't surprise me, being that this isn't exactly fascinating, and I've just created this broadcast. Nevertheless, if you do have people watching, it's going to indicate that right here. Okay, I've closed my broadcast out. I'm back now on the My Broadcast screen. So let's go ahead and tour the site. Now that you've seen the basics, let's see what else this site has to offer.